made your decision? You are leaving, aren't you? Is that what you want? Every ounce of my body wants you to stay. Every breath of my soul. But only if you could be happy. How could I not be happy here with you? Because you're running. You've been running for four years, Helena. Ever since your husband died. Tell me the truth. The letters Nana sent you. Didn't you get any of them? What are you saying? I don't think you came back to Fantasy Island for me. I think deep inside of you, you have a need, maybe even a sense of guilt, to carry on the work you and your husband began. But I saw it kill him. 18, 20 hours a day. It was never enough. First there was room for 20 children, then 50, 100, finally 200. But it was never enough. It was never, never enough. Taking care of 200 children is a marvelous accomplishment. You make the same mistake everyone else does. It wasn't the 200 that we took care of that killed my husband. It was the 200 that we couldn't. And not 200 a year, or a month, or even a week. 200 a day. That's how many children die in the streets of Calcutta every day of every year from lack of food and medication. You know what upsets me the most is that Jamie wants to be just like his father. He wants to spend his life helping those who can't help themselves. I could give you the money to repair the hospital. But that wouldn't solve anything, would it? You need them as much as they need you. But I love you. I know. I know. But sometimes in life, there are things more important than personal considerations. It's time for you to go home, Helena. Come with me. And take away the fantasies of everyone who comes here. You couldn't do that any more than I can refuse to go back. We live on two different planets, don't we? My land of fantasies to yours of desperate reality. You knew this afternoon, didn't you? When you took me back to the bungalow, you said, always remember that I love you more than anything, anything in, in this world. world. But I also knew then that fantasies are very fragile things. Like a child's bubble floating on the air. But it's not a fantasy. I love you. And you said you loved me. And that part will always be true. Always. Always.